another lesson uh, in our relationship with negative persons, <coughs> as if we're not negative persons ourselves, <laughs> uh, is to learn to overcome the fear of conflict. For many people, confront confrontation means conflict. These are two different things. To confront someone does not mean to conflict with him. To approach someone with your needs, most people are programmed to believe that if I approach this person with my needs, there will be conflict. If I approach this person with my different opinion, with my different beliefs, with my different needs, there will be conflict. We have identified, we have put them together, that confrontation leads to conflict. That is our experience. That is the, the prototype that we have seen as, as young children, so in our parents, and with teachers, with various persons. But it can be different. There is another way. We can approach persons, and they can even, when we approach them, begin to conflict or begin to become aggressive. But if we are in our center, and if we are clear-minded, and we have self-acceptance and a positive image of ourselves, and enough love for Him, and we know effective communication techniques, then however He may react, we can always keep our center and bring this confrontation back into its center in which we're trying to find a solution in which we are both satisfied in this relationship. I want you to be satisfied, satisfied, but I also want to be satisfied myself. I don't want you to be unhappy, but I also don't want to be unhappy myself. And that means being assertive, clear with this person. Because when we allow someone to harm us, we do as much harm to him as he does to us. You have to think about that. When we allow someone to function in a way which is opposite to his conscience and to his own spiritual self with relationship to us, we are harming him as much as we may think he is harming us. We are not helping him. We, some people call this love. This is not love. Or well, this may be love for the personality. Now there definitely needs to be a level of understanding for the inability of the other person to function in harmony with his conscience or with his highest spiritual beliefs. But does it mean that we need to let it go like that? We can confront this and we can explain to this person what it is that we believe is an injustice which is going on here, or what our needs are, without accusing him, without blaming him, without demeaning him, but being very clear as to what we need from him in this relationship. So in confronting negative persons, or in confronting any situation, there needs to be a combination of love and respect for the other person, but simultaneously a, a clarity and a, a stance of strength and assertiveness concerning what our needs also what are, are also our needs. Otherwise, we are creating <clears throat> this victim situation. You must realize that the victim creates the aggressor. There are two roles. And as long as I'm playing the victim, I will give the clues to the aggressor to play his role. And when I stop playing the victim, and when I stop having the need to play the role of the victim, then I'm not giving those clues anymore, and he stops playing. So uh, both we have to, both of us have to be into those rules. Once we get clear, all of this stops. Another uh, lesson uh, could be to employ the various techniques which we have all learned in order to come into our center when we lose our center, our peace, uh, uh, when in contact with negative persons, or with their negativity. So there's the, the daily employment of exercises, breathing, meditation, prayer, <coughs> relaxation techniques, in order to keep a high level of energy. 
something which we'll discuss again in a little while. So what is the best way that we can deal with the negativity of the persons around us? To grow spiritually. And their negativity exists in order for there to be a stimulus for us to grow spiritually. Because through those that testing, we really see how much we are secure within ourselves, how much we can love without conditions, uh, how much we are free from the need for affirmation or security from other persons. This is, this is the test and this is the method of evolution at this point. So the, the best thing that we can do for them and for us is to grow spiritually. Now, there are some thoughts, additional thoughts, which will be helpful. One is, it's a thought from a book by Laura Huxley, the wife of Aldous Huxley, uh, who wrote a book called You Are Not the Target. It's a small book. It's about 50 pages. And she has a number of very interesting and amusing techniques in that book for getting free from negative emotions once they are stimulated within us from, from various reactions with persons. And one, one technique has the name of the book, You Are Not the Target, which means to remember that when we receive negativity from other persons, in 90% of the cases, we are not the target. This person has just uh, arrived at a situation in which the negativity within him is more than he can withstand, and he can do nothing better. He, has, he doesn't do daily meditation or exercises or breathing or some kind of primal scream in order to get these emotions out. And so the only way he can get it out is to give it to us. And who is us? The closest person, closest emotionally, not closest physically. <laughs> So we, you get this out on, on your spouse, on your child, on your parent, on your closest friend, on your brother, on your sister. We, we're wherever we feel safe to release this negativity. It's not, it's not that he's directing this at us. And after he gets rid of it, he feels great. <laughs> and he says, what's your problem? I love you. I haven't any problem with you. Now we don't love him very much, though, so, because it's difficult for us to, to get to overcome, to not take it personally. So the first thing which uh, Laura Huxley suggests is don't take it personally. Just say, see this as a negative energy which is coming out of that person. The words may be directed at you, but in reality the energy is not directed at you. It's just directed out of him or out of her. And you just, you just happen to be there in the line of fire at that point. It's like that which we said about the hot potato, that is this negative energy is a hot potato and he throws it at you and you take it and you don't want you throw it back or you throw it to someone else and it's, and it's this movement continuously and this is what's happening in society that everyone is taking these hot potatoes from other persons and throwing them to others. Uh, what we need to do is learn how to cool off these potatoes when we <laughs> so that we don't have to throw them to someone else. <laughs> and to eat them and to absorb them, take out whatever lessons we can. 